Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create colliders using the Pixis plugin for Unity. The physics in Unity uses colliders components attached to game objects. There are several kinds of colliders, such as the sphere or the box collider. In order to have a shape for the collision that is close to the real world, we want to use a mesh collider. The mesh collider uses a mesh like the one we use for rendering, but for the physics calculations. As the physics runs on the CPU and can be quite intensive, we want to have the simplest colliders. The Pixis plugin for Unity has a tool to generate simplified colliders that roughly follows the object shape. This is great to have convincing physics while still keeping good performances. This break disk right here is a 3D XML file imported with Pixis, and I will show you how to create a simplified collider for it. Note that this process works on any game object in the scene, not just for objects imported by Pixies. Right now, there are no colliders, and so if I go step by step, we can see that the sphere is going through. Let's create some colliders. So first, I select the break disk, do a right click, and click Create Collider. I can create different kinds of colliders, but the method I will be using is proxy mesh. The grid resolution will control the quality of the generated colliders. A lower value means a simpler collider. Let's try with five. That's it. I can see what the collider looks like in green right here. Or I can click on the mesh in the mesh collider component. This is the generated collider. As you can see, it's very simple. If I want to have a shape that is closer to the real world, we can use a different setting. Let's try with 20. That's it. Let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it is much closer to the image used for the rendering. Let's try now the physics. Now we can see that the sphere correctly interacts with the object. If you are using Pixies to import your files, you can make this process automatic by creating a rule that is automatically applied at import time. Here, I do a right click in the project window, create, pixies, rule engine, rule set. I just add a starting block, which is the latest important model, and then the second block, which is the creation of colliders. I'll be using the same settings. That's it. So now I'm selecting my model and right below the import settings, I can specify a set of rules. Let's select the rules I just created. Before I re-import the file, I will delete the break from the scene because we already created colliders for it. So let's re-import the file now with the rules attached. As you can see in the progress, the colliders are being generated right after the file is imported. And if I place my file in the scene, we can see that it has already colliders. The creation of colliders also works for point clouds. Here is a E57 point cloud imported using Pixies. Right now, 
there are no physics because there are no colliders. So there is no way to interact with the point cloud as is. As you can see, if I go step by step, my character controller is going through my model. So let's create some colliders for my point cloud. The process is the same. I select the objects I want to create colliders for. In this case, I want to create colliders for those points. Then I do right click and create collider. Here I'm using 30 because I want to have enough resolution to walk through the stairs. Don't forget to check East Point Cloud if you are creating colliders for point clouds. And that's it. In green, we can see the colliders that we have generated for the point cloud. We can try by entering play mode. With a little step-by-step, -step, we can see that the character controller correctly interacts with the collider. And if we go in game view, we can walk through the point cloud. That's all for this tutorial. If you want more information about rules and point clouds in the Pixis plugin, please check out these other videos or check out the latest documentation. Thanks for watching.